It's the eternal bridge over troubled waters. Waters that hold the secret as to why a young girl will never be laid to rest with the dignity she so richly deserves. Until we all know what happened, Mary Jo can never rest in peace. Not in our family. And I don't think not in the public hearts as well. Georgetta Petoskey takes an agonizing pilgrimage to Chappaquiddick, to the watery grave of Mary Jo Kopechny, her first cousin and once best friend. Mary Jo was wrenched very cruelly from our family under circumstances that were still mysterious and very painful. And now, with the full blessing of Mary Jo's parents, Georgetta Petoskey demands that Senator Edward Kennedy ends the mystery and ends the pain. I think we have a right to ask, why were you together with her? Why were you with Mary Jo? What really happened? What really happened? This morning I entered a plea of guilty to the charge of leaving the scene of an accident. Senator Edward Kennedy in 1969 addressing the nation about the death of Mary Jo Kopechny, one of the most examined speeches in the nation's history. The car overturned in a deep pond and immediately filled with water. Does Mr. and Mrs. Kopechny and you, they believe that Senator Edward Kennedy's a liar? Yes. We all do. Don't you? Do you believe it? I don't know of anyone who does. Certainly I don't. There is no truth, no truth whatever, to the widely circulated suspicions. Then Georgetta bluntly addresses Senator Edward Kennedy as perhaps he has never been addressed before. I believe there was damn little truth in what he told them. He told them what they wanted to hear or what he needed to tell them to cover his ass. It's been 22 years since I was last here at this bridge. That's when I was reporting on the tragic death of Mary Jo Kopechny. Now, after 22 years, they're finally pulling the old bridge down. Now, considering what it looks like, its appearance and its size, it's probably one of the most photographed bridges in the whole world. But with its destruction dies many secrets. One of them is how a beautiful young life was extinguished. And the other is why a senator drop the keys to the front door of the White House forever in the waters of Chappaquiddy. They would tell him that if he had been honest when the accident first occurred, he would have saved, perhaps have saved Mary Jo's life, but he certainly would have saved the reputation of a very good and fine young woman. That he would have saved her parents 22 years of open grief, and certainly he would have saved himself from all of the damaging innuendos that have surrounded him for the past 22 years. Certainly they haven't done his political career any good at all. Georgetta's exclusive interview is the first time that any of the Kopechny family has publicly demanded answers from Senator Kennedy. But the screams of cover-up have echoed for more than two decades. Everybody forgets about Mary Jo. You know, she was 29 years old. This girl, she's, she's gone. And it's so sad. You know, the hell with Ted Kennedy. There's a life. But I think they were just trying to make him look like a hero. And what was the emotion, perhaps, of you and the Kopechny family? What were the emotions at the time? I think I'd be lying if I said that the anger has not always been there. They do not feel that Mary Jo was treated justly. She was always the girl who died in Senator Kennedy's car. Just the girl who died in the car. This was their daughter. This was their flesh and blood. They were angry about that. Had a lot, a lot of mixed feelings about justice. Uh, become very disillusioned with uh, the judicial system. You know, I, I had said it before, and it, it seemed like there's just two sets of rules. You know, there's a set of rules for the, for the wealthy, and there's a set for the, the regular people. But as Georgetta visits for the first time where Mary Jo was snatched from life, she says she knows what the rules are for regular people. Oh, who's going to take on the Kennedys? Who has the money, the ambition, or the power? We're, that's not even realistic. Someone asked me once uh, why they didn't find some bright, energetic young lawyer to take on the Kennedys and make his fame and fortune. Well, the flip side of that is, what if you do that and you don't win? Georgetta summed up the feelings of the Kopechnys with a few cryptic words. 
I think that they recognized that they were powerless against him. Powerless against the Kennedys? Why would the Kopechnys feel powerless? The Kennedy brothers, President Jack, Senator Bob, sent loving regards in autographed pictures. Mary Jo was part of the Kennedy clan. She was with Bobby Kennedy and the entourage that went with him uh, at the time that he was assassinated. She may have only been a few feet behind him when it occurred. Um, and she was with them on the train that brought his body back. Then water entered my lungs and I actually felt the sensation of drowning. But somehow I struggled to the surface alive. The Kopechnys never doubted his story, at least not at first. They accepted what the senator had told them. He was their friend. Senator Kennedy wouldn't do anything but tell them the truth. Surely he would look out for their interests. Surely everything he told them was the truth. From Chappaquiddick on that July day in 1969 came the only truth that Georgetta Petoskey is certain of right now. Her husband took a telephone call. Well, I think I knew she was dead before he came in the room because of the way he said, Mary Jo, that's too bad. And I just knew that she was dead. 